I'm Helena Newman, Vice Chairman of the Impressionist and Modern Art Department Worldwide and Director of the Evening Sale. The Impressionist and Modern Art Sales at Sotheby's this month include some very fine examples by many of the key artists of the movement. There's a rare Monet beach scene and a wonderful Cubist futurist picture by the Italian artist Gino Severini. Then there are further works by Gauguin, Cezanne, and then going through the classic modern with paintings by Picasso and Leger, and then on to Miro, Giacometti, and surrealist works by Magritte. Claude Monet's La Plage à Trouville, uh, the beach at Trouville, is one of the key paintings in the summer sale. It's an early impressionist painting from 1870, and it has all the, the color and effects of light um, which we see coming into Monet's work. Uh, painted in the summer at Trouville, he spent his time there with his wife Camille, and in this important work, um, he wonderfully captures the effects of light and wind and uh, changing sunlight on this summer's day on the beach, uh, on the clothes of the women, on, on their hats, on the flags, and it's, it's got a, a, a fantastic sense of movement and light. Uh, this, this painting was chosen to be the cover of the catalogue of the recent exhibition Impressionists at the Sea that opened last summer at the Royal Academy in London and then went to the Wadsworth Athenaeum in Connecticut where it hung alongside its sister painting which is a slightly smaller version of the same subject but which undoubtedly was painted in the same summer. One of the highlights of the sale in June is a fabulous and very rare painting by the Italian futurist artist Gino Severini, uh, which is from 1915, and it's called Danseurs, the Dancer. And in this painting, he wonderfully renders the sense of movement as the dancer turns to the uh, music that you can't hear, but you can sense in the form of the painting. And he employs a, a very fresh palette, beautifully um, warm colors, um, rich colors, very fresh, varied palette. And it also shows very much the influence of French Cubism, this painting. I mean, Severini went several times to Paris and he certainly saw the art of the French Cubists and that is incorporated also in this very important rare painting. This is a really beautiful Cezanne still life, uh, quite small in scale, but absolutely exquisite. And he captures wonderfully the freshness of the fruit piled up on this plate and the pear to the side, and then the glass of wine uh, ready to be drunk, and the wonderful reflections of light on the glass are just fantastically rendered here. And it's a very, very successfully uh, worked composition uh, where he plays with the light on the objects and the different planes in, 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 in the composition itself. It's a wonderful wonderfully joyful and appetizing rendering of a still life. Picasso's portrait of Dora Maar here is an exquisite example of one of the iconic themes of his, of his entire career. Here he shows his lover, muse, mistress, Dora Maar, in 1939, in October 1939, so just after the outbreak of war. The portraits of Dora Maar very much uh, um, amongst the most psychologically intense and penetrating of Picasso's work. And uh, here you see that um, sort of tortured state in, in the extreme contours of the composition and the tightness of the composition. It's quite a small canvas um, and it's very intense. At the same time, it's beautifully rendered in wonderfully positive, uh, wonderfully positive palette, very thick palette, very colorful. And when you look close, you see the fantastic impasto on the surface, which is absolutely exceptional in this work, I, particularly in the rendering of the eyes. The eye on the, on the right has got this wonderful thick impasto and the treatment of her long flowing hair and um, the, the textures on her clothes. This painting by Picasso of Dora Maar is one of the highlights of an important group of works that are coming to auction on the 25th and 26th of June from the estate of Harkin Christensen, and the proceeds are being donated to Médecins Sans Frontières. Giacometti is probably best known for his sculptures 
the great tall uh, female figures, the femme de Venise, the large um, standing women. And in fact, they in recent uh, sales have been performing extremely well with record prices achieved sale on sale. And with that growth of interest in the sculpture has become an increasing growth of interest in his painting. And here he portrays his younger brother, Diego, and you can almost, even in these shades of um, dark palette, you can sort of see the modelling as if you would in a sculpture. And then that's contrasted against this much, much looser, um, looser setting, which of course is not anchored in any natural, recognisable landscape. It's so that all the focus can be on the personality of the figure. One of the highlights of the sale is Juan Miro's uh, gouache and pastel work on paper, which is titled with a rather unusual title, Soiree Snob Chez Une Princesse, meaning um, snob evening um, at the home of a princess. And it's executed in 1944 which is an important period of Mirror's uh, creativity because it comes just after the seminal series of constellations, which were these works in gouache that really defined uh, his works from the early 1940s. And here he takes many of the motifs from those celebrated constellation series, as the stars and the, the um, abstract shapes and motifs, and incorporates them into this very beautiful, um, exquisite gouache where you can just see semi-abstracted, potentially maybe six figures who are the figures of the party. I mean, it's highly abstract, and you can just pick them out from the gouache, which still has these very decorative elements around it. Painted in 1935, this Magritte is one of his icons of surrealism. And here he's created this amazing visual gag, in a way, with the door through which a broken opening reveals a landscape beyond. The landscape has this oversized leaf come tree with these extraordinary veins. Also, he's playing with the whole juxtaposition of interior, exterior, concealed, revealed, and the surprise element. Magritte, as, as a painter of, of ideas and concepts, uh, was, was really playing with words. He was playing with um, ideas, with taking everyday objects, showing them in, in extraordinary settings, playing with perspective and scale and surprise, and, and all that leads on to what a lot of the contemporary artists are still doing today. My colleagues and I look forward to welcoming you at Sotheby's in London for the pre-sale viewing and the auctions on the 25th and 26th of June.